So I had a couple of requests to show a homework assignment, and I'm sorry I didn't do that in class. Uh, but I also wanted to take time to show you connecting from home. So once you've installed the VMware client, it's going to look something like this. You can see this is the address it's going to connect to. It's vm.fullcall.edu. So if you click continue, then it takes you to this screen. Now this is your same username and password that you would use to log into a lab machine on campus. So it's most likely going to be your banner ID and then your password, whatever you use to get into, say, your email. Then click continue, then it'll take you to this screen where you can select what kind of software you want. So pick whatever one says Office 2013. I'm picking the staff one just because this is the one I'm used to. Then click continue, and it'll take you through this. Like I said, this is going to look a little different on my machine because I'm doing it on a Mac, and if you have a PC, it'll probably look different. And it takes a few seconds to log in. Once it's logged in, you're presented with this screen. And this looks just like a Windows desktop. So you can click start and get access to all of these programs. So I want to go ahead and log into Chrome and show you in Blackboard where this stuff is. So once we've gone to Blackboard, we can log in like normal. So once we've logged in, gone to our course, we can then go to content. And I want to show you right here is, are the instructions for setting this up at home, this VM instructions. Then if you click individual weeks, week two, we can go to the Excel worksheet. Now I want to make it uh, point out that Excel worksheet is the one we're turning in, not the project. The project isn't due for another uh, 10 days or so. So click Excel worksheet, it should download it, and then we can open it. So once the file is open, this should look familiar. This is what we worked on in class. Now, you have two additional sheets. You have worksheet one and the if exercise. So worksheet one is what we're going to look at. Now, make sure you click enable editing. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So the first thing to do is to move it so the cursor is right here in between E and F. And then double click, and it'll reformat this so that the text in E spreads out. Now the best way to do this is just to put your answers here in column F. So we'll click in there, hit equals to start a function, and this says enter a formula in F2, so right here, that multiplies A1 times C10. So we can type A1 times C10. And you see the colors change to let us know what we're working on. We can hit enter and that works just fine. If we highlight the function and scroll over here, we can see this is A1 and that's C10. There's our result. Now one other thing that was kind of an issue for some people is this. It says use cell F11 to reference data from another, from, uh, it should be from the other worksheet. Now I covered this in class. I think a lot of people missed it. The easiest way to do this is to type an equal sign, a single quote, the name of your worksheet, another single quote, an exclamation mark, and then your cell reference. And that can be anything. It can be A1, it can be B2, it could be a range like C1 colon H5. It could be uh, anything in the other sheet. So then we can look over here, we see A1 is item, and here that's what we have. So now what's due is this worksheet one and this if exercise right here. Those are the two things that are due. Thanks and see you Thursday.